the next thing we're going to do on the QT50 is do some rear brakes and wheel bearings. To get to that, we're going to take the, we already have the air box off that should be right there. Held on to the bolt on this side and the, uh, on the other side it's to the carburetor. But there's a couple bolts right up under here that you can see right there. There's two bolts there. And then there's also two bolts right here. Some people say you can just loosen that to take the tire off to do things, but we're gonna take it completely off seeing as how we're gonna do more than just brakes. We're gonna have it off for a while. So we got the muffler off now. Uh, the two bolts that were down here, holding it onto the head area, we had to soak those with some WD-40 to get them to loosen up, but we did that for you know a couple days, squirt a little on, and work them tight, loose, tight, loose, make sure they come out without breaking. These two bolts here and here, put them back in place to save them. Now we're going to take this fender off, which has a bolt right here, and then on the other side, we'll take it loose right here, and that fender should come off, and then we can get down to the wheel. Okay, we got the fender off now, and we took that screw right out of there. I'm going to put it back in there for safekeeping, and I took the screw out of the other side, right down here. I put that one back in. The next thing we're going to do is loosen that tension bolt on the brake cable there, so we take all the tension off the brakes. I'm not sure that there is any, because there's no brakes aren't working. And then we'll be able to come over here and get to that uh, wheel nut there. Okay, so I got that brake cable loosened up and I pulled it through the brake lever here and reattached the nut back onto it there. And then over on the other side, I've got that cracked loose here. Pull the nut and the washer off of here and then the tire should come off of here. I want you to be careful. There, it's still up in here. There is a washer right here that you want to make sure you don't lose because uh, you will need that when reassembling. So that's an important part. And here's the brake pads here. They still look like they're pretty good, so it might be some sort of a cable or adjustment problem. It looks like it was adjusted all the way out, but we're going to put the new brakes on since we're all the way down here. We're also going to take these three bolts, holding this back end off. Uh, the suspension will have to come off. And then inside here, we're going to change the wheel bearings. And there's also some final gear drive bearings in here that we'll need to replace. Okay, I got down with the wheel off and I pulled the brake off before I filmed it. But how it goes is right like this. With these two pieces, right like this. Uh, and you can see these two holes. And this horseshoe shaped spring was on the back side up here and the ends were coming through these holes. Um, it was kind of something to work off of there. Um, it was kind of something to work off of there and uh, it should be an adventure getting it back on with that spring tension is pretty tight. The next thing that I'm going to do is unscrew these three screws on this side here here and this one over here and once we get under there we should be able to uh, pull that pull this axle out and that will give us access to change those wheel bearings okay I got the three screws out of there I took the cap off I put the three screws back in here so I don't lose them 
with that, I should be able to push right on this other side of this. Bring this gearbox out. And look at that. The teeth look all look good, but that grease in there is disgusting. Uh, that, up there in the grease well where it's supposed to be filled, there's no grease. So this definitely needed some service in here. All of all of this gook in there needs to be cleaned out. And there's the old bearings that we're going to take out of there on the one side and we'll get both sides. Okay, so I did take off these bolts here and this and got to this final gear drive. Uh, once I got in there, I saw that that was operating really, really smooth. The bearings looked good, so I didn't see any point in fiddling with those, uh, especially seeing as how one of the bearings would have had to been taken to a shop and have them pressed off and the new ones pressed on. Next thing will be these two bolts that will get us down to our two sets of wheel bearings. You can also see that I've cleaned all, all that old grease. Uh, when we re-grease, you can see that there's a pretty big pocket down in there. That's where all the fresh grease will go. So once I took that bracket off of there, I was very easily able to pull this bearing out on this side, which has both sides open, and this spacer. Then this was a bearing on the other side, open on the inside, sealed on the outside. And to get that one from the other side out, I put this socket in here, push it right through, right through, right through there to where the bearing was on the other side and popped it right out. Uh, I did use a socket size that would fit on the metal here. Um, when I put it in, I'll want one that fits around this outer edge and tap it in lightly so that it all goes in even. Okay, so I tapped the bearing in on the other side, put the spacer back in, slid the bearing in on this side, and the next thing we're gonna do is put this plate back on there, then we'll have to grease that up and put the cap back on here. Also, important part is this gasket ring that goes right around, right around the inside here sealing this up tightly. Okay, I got the new brake shoes on there. Uh, sorry, I couldn't film that, uh, but these were the old brake shoes. Basically, it's got that U-shaped spring behind it and it was impossible to do and tape. But I got these two U-sides on here. And I got the bottom piece under there and I had to just pry this up and around with a screwdriver here and it took quite a little bit of force to do it. Okay, we're back on the rear wheel here and I just finished uh, putting some new grease in the filling that cavity there. And this is gonna, differential's gonna slide right in there and sit. Next, we're going to try and get this ring around there perfect before we put the cover back on. So that just got those three screws tightened down on here. It's got the seal behind there with the new grease inside there. And that's uh, high temperature wheel bearing grease. And so that's gonna pretty much wrap this back end up with new grease in there new wheel bearings, a new set of brake pads on there. Um, the tire is going to be going out to the shop to get a new uh, tire wheel put on there, new tire put on the wheel and a new inner tube. And then once we get that back on there, we'll adjust the brakes out and the back end should be ready to Okay, we're getting ready to reinstall the rear wheel. We do have new uh, brake pads on here new uh, wheel bearings, uh, two sets of those in there, and 
on the other side we did the uh, cleaned out and re-greased. There's a washer that goes on here first. that brake lever back here. That locks that wheels up pretty good with those brakes. 